There you go. That's the play. That was what I was looking for. I hit him with some blitz, got him back in the stick, caught him off guard. That's the play. Huge play right there. Hey, this is Prometheus giving you another full game live breakdown. I'm rolling with the Washington Redskins going against I'm a Beast 716 and the Cleveland Browns. We'll see how this game works out. I'm going to be using the Joe Gibbs playbook uh, in this play gameplay. I'm going to be using the single back jumbo. I'm also going to be using uh, the uh, I form close uh, and then a split formation as my base formations. I don't have a shotgun formation, so hopefully I don't get any kind of long down situations. My opponent's playing with Cleveland. Cleveland has got a fairly good defense. They've got some pretty good star players throughout the entire roster. Uh, the last time I played against Cleveland, I really struggled to move the ball effectively. So this should be a good matchup if he knows what he's doing defensively. Uh, offensively, obviously, Cleveland's got some stud players too. All right, so uh, able to go ahead and tackle my opponent on the 26-yard line. I'm going to just go with a base defense, uh, and that's going to be out of the under. And we're going to use the uh, cover three buzz. Show two. And he takes off with, I think, Brian Hoyer as his quarterback on that. So uh, stopping him with three yards is actually a pretty good thing. Let's go ahead and try to hit him with some heat. And he hits me with a quick screen, but my defender actually comes down and makes a huge tackle for me. And did he catch that ball? He caught that ball. I was actually out there defending. <clears throat> That's a huge play for him right there to go with the stick. And he forces the ball once again into my defender. Uh, picks up, looks like... And he goes with the run right here. Breaks a huge tackle right there. He's probably going to try to keep trying to hit me with that up tempo pace. So I think he went back to stick again on that. Not able to get my defense set up correctly. Hits me in the crossing right there, so. So I think one of his guys is down, so he just keeps hitting me with the stick route. He's got that down to his science. Nice run by him. And unable to go ahead. He just hits me with two plays. He's hit me with that cross screen and that stick. But the tempo is actually throwing me off right now. I'm going to have to have uh, probably a base blitz to go out of. So basically just a couple plays that he's beat me with. But he's, just, he's executing so efficiently. And he's making the right reads that it's going to be very difficult to slow him down with the tempo that he's running at. But he does force balls into defenders. So I'm going to have an opportunity to get a couple turnovers uh, if he keeps throwing at my defender. All right, so I got the ball on a 30-yard line. Nice little return. I'm going to start with the single back offense as my base offense. And I'm going to go ahead and hit him with a counter for it. He's in a 3-4. Brings a safety up. And almost, almost got the crease. If it would have got the crease, it would have been ugly. So he came out in a 3 buzz show two as his base defense. Let's go into the I form. And we're just going to go into play action leak. On a quick hike him. There you go. 
that a play action leak is just an easy money play against some kind of a coverage like that. So I'll take those yards. We go back to single back. I'm going to go into the halfback counter weak again. Pinch the line down. And I just need to get the blocking. Uh, if I get past his, his corners, it's going to be pretty ugly. He brings his corners down and they, they reset. That was cover four right there. Let's try him with a play action boot. And I threw right in the coverage. Uh, his defender actually cornered me up uh, on that particular. Uh, he basically took away my running route with my quarterback. So I'm not going to go to that anytime soon. So I'm going to come out of the slot Z, slot Z out. Oh, I got lucky on that. I actually didn't have the white res right receiver in. Uh, in the split formation, I want to have my tight end in the backfield. I'm going to go ahead and quick hike him right away. There you go. Hit him with smash. And Morris being a beast, just running over people. Picked up some pretty good yards right there. And I come out in the play action tight end weak again. Tight end leak. Going to ISO. go. I'm going to hurry up. And able to go ahead and hit that crossing route by Gerson to be able to pick up some pretty monster yards on that. So three for four with Griffin right now, working this offense pretty efficiently. All right, so moved the ball pretty effectively against my opponent, got it down to the uh, six yard line. Need to go ahead and punch this in uh, to get myself a touchdown right here. Gonna quick hike him. And unable to go ahead and get the play I'm looking for. I'm gonna go into trail. There you go. Young able to come up with a huge play right there. He clicked off his defender and pulled him out of position. I was able to go ahead and get a touchdown right in front of his guy. All right, so I'm able to go ahead and pin my opponent on the 24-yard line. He has effectively moved the ball down the field against me. I'm going to go back into my base offense. It seems like he... I'm going to go into cover three cloud. want to have a play right there found the gap uh, that was one good read good spin moon by him caught me off guard I'm gonna back this screenplay again so he does that halfback slip screen. So he's just using a custom book and he's just using a couple plays. There you go. Went right back to that stick route again. So he's he's got basically just a few plays that he does. He does a halfback spring and that stick route. And that's just basically about it. And is that a drop pass or did he actually catch it? I don't know what happened on that. He switched it up into play action read. All right, so I got to do scrape three here. Nice little counter picks that up. And he gets rid of the ball. So this guy's a real smart player. He knows how to get rid of it. He's going to take any chances. Back to the stick. He's just running a couple plays here. 
He's got his plays down masterfully. And he just ran, he ran right down the middle. I'm, I'm too busy trying to worry about him rolling off to the right and to the left. Uh, this guy's got me guessing, but he's so efficient at just a few plays that he runs that uh, he's got me off kilter. So this is going to be a scoring game. I'm going to have to put up points against this guy. I've got to go for it in fourth down situations because he's got his offense. He's extremely efficient at his offense. Stay back in that cover three again. There you go. All right, so a two-minute warning right here. Uh, running the hurry-up offense, just kind of keep my opponent off kilter a little bit. Going to go back to uh, the, sp uh, the split slot. He runs a lot of coverage. Uh, so if I had some screen plays in, in uh, my play selection, I'd probably try to hit him with it. I almost picked off right there. Great play by the defender to come up on the ball. As uh, three buzz show two. There you go. Great play by Roberts. All right, so now he takes a timeout right here. I think he's trying to preserve some time because he's worked his offense pretty efficiently. I'm going to go back into the I form. Stays back, and he's really in the zones. So I need to learn how to uh, blow up the zones. I'm going to go into the play action tight end leak. And stayed in bounds right here to work this clock down. There you go. Got the blocking I was looking for almost. All right, so I'm going to take my first time out here. Got a couple, you have one shot and get a first down. Ah, that should have been a caught pass. I don't know why they got dropped. All right, I got to take my points here. Can't walk away with this drive without points. Getting the ball back in the second half, and it's huge that I actually do that. <clears throat> All right, so 24 seconds left against my opponent. Got to just make sure I do not give up a touchdown against him. And he gets per really, really good field position right there. Keep him in bounds. He's going to have to burn a timeout right here. So he went back to that cover three cell. This guy definitely knows what he's doing. He's going to take a shot. What was that? Oh, my God. <clears throat> All right, so will he take a shot in the end zone or take the points? That was a hate crazy play right there. He's able to go ahead and get that off and get the yardage. He's going to take the points. Smart play by him. So basically, I lost those three points. Still down by um, seven points or seven points right now. So 20 seconds, able to move the ball down the field effectively against me. He's just doing some crazy plays. Real smart plays. Smart routes. I think he struggled against cover four, so I'm gonna have to start hitting with cover four. Come on, Jackson, come on. And 
and just can't get off the ball. Cleveland's got a really good defensive line. Um, they're fairly effective uh, shutting me down. Let's see if he starts cheating on the tight end if he picks up on my tendencies. Gonna run right down the middle. There you go, Merce. Great play by Reed right there. I think he came in a blitz. Nope. Back to the cover through show two. And unable to keep that ball in bounds, but that was the right read. He went into a cover three cloud, um, and that took away that, that route right there. I'm going to go back to the split again. I'm going to go in the Z. And hit me with an edge blitz right there. Just wasn't able to get rid of the ball quick enough. So Hayden came in on a corner blitz. This guy's mixing up his defenses pretty well now. There you go by Roberts. Able to hit him right down the middle with that play. I really like that play, and the receivers for this team work really well. He came into some kind of a pressure uh, off of that cover four concept. I don't know what he did. And Morris is just being a beast for me right there. All right, so able to go ahead and tie up this game. This is going to come down to whoever scores last. <sighs> this guy's a very good player, very smart, very intelligent, picks up on the tendencies, and he's got his offense down to a T. Gets me in a hurry-up offense. I'm going to try to come out in a base cover four um, and just to see if I can catch him off kilter a little bit with that. He has thrown in the coverage, so that should give me an opportunity uh, to get him off guard. All right, so able to pin him down on the 20-yard line. Did another screen against me. <clears throat> he just keeps going back to that screen. I didn't man up a guy. Okay, so that was a slip screen. It was just a little bit of a different look. Now he runs, and I get the break. I'm, ah, I almost got the break I was looking for. If I would have got that turnover, it would have been huge. able to go ahead and bottom up in the, in the back of the end. God damn it, that damn freaking spot route. Damn spot. He just keeps hitting me with that damn, uh, that stick route, that damn stick. There you go. Mixed him up with the cover two right there. Actually almost got him in coverage. All right, so third and eighth situation right here. He's probably going to come back to stick. All right, so got him in a fourth down situation. He took off with the ball. He actually was looking for something different and went ahead and did a hybrid defense against him to catch him off guard. So there's a huge player right here. There you go. That's the play. That was what I was looking for. I hit him with some blitz, got him back in the stick, caught him off guard. That's the play. Huge play right there.
and more speed of beast for me right now to take this down to the fourth quarter. Got him right there on a huge touchdown play right there. Going to go ahead and take the points. Got up on him by a score. That was a huge play right there. He kept bringing the safety down. And that's when I penalized him up top with a big bomb. You probably watch my channel a lot. I don't bomb the ball a lot, but he just was. She just tempted me with with a safety like that. <clears throat> All right, so five minutes, 10 seconds left. Need to go ahead and just hold them uh, to score here or hold them down to, to no score. I'm gonna go back to just the base cover four. Actually let's do a cover six. I'm gonna back that screenplay again. And that time I had a defensive tackle out there actually wanting to go ahead and bottle him up. Let's see if he goes back to stick. He's gonna do that crossing route. Oh my God, caught me off coverage and hit me up top for an easy score. Great adjustment by him. I was bringing my safety down to try to take those crossing routes away because he's been going at it. Man, that was a great play. <laughs> oh, that was a really good play. So the score's tied up, 24-24. This is turning into an epic game right here. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. He kept going back to the well. I started picking up on his tendencies, but that was something I wasn't expecting. He's the first time he bombed one out on against me. Come on, Jackson. All right, so a minute, four minutes and 30, uh, 39 seconds left. I'm going to go ahead and just keep, keep trying to cram this ball down this guy's throat. You know, do spin moves with Morris. It's just out of habit with some of the better running backs right there. So he wanted to cover three buzz. There you go, right down the middle against him. He popped me too, but I'll take it. All right, so I got the blocking he's looking for. He got tied up into my blockers on that when he's when he defended it. So I picked up a uh, nice little second down right there. Now he's going a lot into cover three, so I should be able to hit hitch routes and what he's doing right now. Ah, force that ball in there. I was just guessing at it, and I just forced it in there. It was just a bad decision. All right, so i got to definitely go for it. Uh, fourth down situation. I'm going to go back into the split back formation. I'm going to do Z spot. Go. Reed caught that ball. Should be a first down. <clears throat> Fourth and inches. There you go. First down for Young. I'm going to take this down to a two minute warning. I'm going to come back to that uh, tight end leak play. These guys are pressed. Okay, so he's, he's at, he's, he's setting me up. He's got coverage over here. There you go. I'm gonna keep working the clock down against them. Stay in bounds. There you go. I'll keep working that clock down against them. I'm 
All right, so let's start seeing those timeouts, buddy. All right, so he takes a timeout right there. Ten seconds left. Basically, this game is over with right here, so... And that's game. Able to go ahead and use it with clock management right there. Uh, this nice effective drive. It's kind of like a nice little change of pace, but this guy was a definitely very good, worthy, worthy opponent. The game was epic. Bounced back and forth. Uh, scoring went back and forth. He definitely knew what he was doing. It was just that one turnover on downs was a huge difference in the game. Um, other than that, it was a phenomenal game. Uh, the scheme uh, with the Redskins worked very well. I was able to go ahead and do pr pretty much majority of the plays. He had a fairly good way of containing me, so I didn't scramble with my quarterback. Uh, but the I-form close, the split uh, split formation, uh, they all worked very well for me. The split formation is basically from the Jimmy Johnson playbook, but I was able to effectively move the ball against this guy. Uh, this guy was definitely a good opponent. So I hope you picked up on my gameplay. I hope you picked up on some of the changes and, 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 and adjustments that I made against my opponent uh, because he started going back to the well a lot, um, and I was able to go ahead and pick up with his tendencies. So once again, I really appreciate my supporters. And until next time.